The next Regex 1 lesson is officially dedicated to Clanny operators, Clanny star and Clanny plus. So, of course, you can observe that all of the inputs are made of repetitions of some letters. So, all of them, including the one that we need to skip, begin with the letter A. So, I assume that we can use letter A. And then we have a match on all of four of these inputs. But there is another A that we can use. And even more A's to consume. So, perhaps we can add a plus. So, this actually does pretty good work, uh, including all A's in inputs where the A's are more than one. So, more than one is guaranteed that there is an extra A which consumes the first character. And then the second character A is then specified, which of course is missing from the last one, and that's why it's left out, which is a good thing. And the rest is just included by the Clanny Plus operator. Uh, very similarly, we have B and repetitions in B, so that would be another version of Clanny Plus, except that the B is missing in the third input. So here we can say B, which uh, makes some progress through the B, but excludes the third one. So, so here we can simply make it using Kleine star, pointing out that uh, the B could repeat itself, but it's actually 0 or 1 match or an optional match. And we can include it with some C inputs, and to make it stronger we can just add another Kleine plus, which gives us the solution to this challenge. And I would say that every time you find a use for Kleine plus or Kleine star, they both can be replaced by some version of the range. Because here the range for Kleine star would be 0 to some big number or some specific number, or 1 to some big number or some specific number. So this could potentially be another solution to form a regular expression pattern using these operators. But plus and star are pretty popular because they're very expressive. They're easier to interpret and maintain than these longer versions of an inclusive range of occurrences. So let's move on to the next lesson. This is lesson 8, uh, optional characters. So let's see if we can spot any significant differences between what we have to skip and what we have to match. So we have some digits over here which are missing in the skip version. So that's really good option. So we can simply specify a digit and since we could have more than one digits we can just use a Kleine plus. Then we can add a space and then the word file. And here we have some differences. Uh, one is uh, single, another one is plural. So character S can be made optional. Of course, optional can be made with the Kleine star operator, but at the same time, a meaning of 0 or 1, we can use question mark. So the question mark right here, uh, after a character uh, or more complicated set of matches, generates 1 or 0 occurrences. All right, so in our case, it's character S, which may be not included or optionally can occur over here. And so just like Kleine star and Kleine plus, the question mark applies to the preceding character. This is not affected by the question mark, only the preceding character. If you want to make the entire word optional, you can do it this way. Right, so again, grouping clarifies that this operator is applied to the entire group of characters. But I'll change it back. And of course, we have found. And I guess we can use a space here and then found. And then the question mark, uh, we need to consume the question mark from the input by applying the backslash question mark. Of course, backslash always removes the special meaning of a meta character, converting this to a regular question mark punctuation, which is what we need to be able to accept from our inputs. 
So that seems like a good solution and I'd like to continue on to the next lesson. So we learn in this lesson that our regular expression engine that interprets our patterns can recognize backslash t, backslash n, r, and s, which correspond to tab, new line, carriage return, and space. So these are collectively referred to as white space. So these are a special category of characters that allow indentation and formatting of inputs. So we have some spaces in our inputs then of course we can start forming our pattern as backslash d that should match the digit then backslash dot which is matching the period and then i guess this may be an s so that is a space character and it seems like in the version that we need to skip there is no space so we need to ask the engine to make sure that it processes only those that do have spaces and then we can add an abc and here we have a match you can definitely have a lot of good time trying more lessons on this excellent website give it a try and you'll learn some nice tricks that you can use in your own searches